And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to move on to our next bout. Once again, scheduled for five three-minute rounds. And uh, once again, to be fought under full Muay Thai rules. And let me, first of all, introduce to you in the blue corner, fighting out of the Carnage Muay Thai gym in Scotland. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Jordan Decalico! Well, this is the one that's got everyone talking. The Southpaw from Scotland, England versus Scotland, a brave heart versus a very shy retiring young man called Daniel McGowan. And I've heard a lot about Jordan Coe. Jordan Coe is going to be going to Thailand soon to train at the Summer League camp in Bangkok. But Daniel McGowan has spent a lot of time at Petchin D and he's with one of the best coaches in the country, I believe, Liam Robinson. Liam Robinson's doing a fantastic job. He only trains professional fighters, Vinny. It's not for everyone, that gym. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the blue corner from Scotland, Jordan Declico! Daniel McGowan has been tipped to be the next big superstar. I have only seen him on YouTube. But Jordan Coe dancing around the ring. Very and entertaining, Benny. Brilliant. Very, person. very entertaining. Yeah. What a personality, fantastic. But will he be dancing when oh, Daniel no, McCallum is looking himself. around the crowd right now? Very nice performance. A bit like me and you dancing. And facing Jordan this evening, his opponent in the red corner. Fighting out of the super pitch Muay Thai gym in Northampton. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Daniel McGowan. Yoko brings you a new star because Daniel McGowan is tick for the top. I have been told so much. The other day I was in Ireland with Liam Robinson and he was saying me, saying to me he was holding his own with Dean James. Dean James is going to be coming up later on. He said this kid could be the next big thing, but Jordan Coe, make no mistake, has took this fight because he believes he can win. When you say the next big thing, Vinny, he's already WRSA world champion, two weight categories and golden oh, belt. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Daniel McGowan! His father, an avid supporter of Daniel, came up to me earlier on. He said, thank you very much for what you say about my son. And I'll tell you this, credit where credit's due. If you're good, you get praise. And if you're bad, you still get praise, because I'm a very, very nice man. As a round of applause for me, from my own house, for myself, as the dulcet sounds of the Thai flutes and cymbals start, me and Danny Kendrick, Need some volume, because what a show this is. An absolute sparker here on Yokow. Jordan Coe, 17 years old. Brings eight wins, zero losses from Falkirk in Scotland. He's beat Billy Roberts, beat Bailey from Bad Company, Moncanton, Ross Cochran. He's trained by Colin Anderson, Mickey Roach and Oren Decalon. He's a KO specialist. He's knocked out four of his fighters with knees. Trains told him to move left a lot from Daniel McGowan and they've uh, scored him and looked hard at Daniel McGowan how he fights. Daniel McGowan, 18 years old, only one year between these guys, they're both young. 12 wins, one loss, one draw. Sometimes, you know, sometimes there's a sinister look across a boxer's face. A sinister face that they have when they get in the ring. When he's out of the ring, he smiles, but there's something sinister about Daniel McGowan at this particular moment, and it could cut, it could cut steel. He looks really, really focused. Concentration, focus, determination. That's what you're seeing right here. As the young stars wait to be announced, as they walk into the ring, these young men from very, very good gyms indeed. They live the sport, they eat the sport, and they breathe the sport. And let me tell you, these are gonna be the next big superstars. Don't go away, England's very proud. 
of Daniel McGowan and Scotland's very proud of Jordan Coe. A battle between two very, very good champions. Regardless of who wins, both are going on to superstardom. Yep, and both very, very talked about in the UK as these fighters right now. Cornered by Stevie Meikle. McGowan cornered by Eric Dedeker. Ricky Sewell, who's an extremely good talent who would like to really see is, on yeah. Yokab also. And the very, very capable, the intelligent, the very quiet and unassuming, Liam Robinson. Liam's doing a fantastic job with a number of his fighters at the moment, Vinny. He really is. So as Coe confidently danced his way to the ring as he finishes his last bit of his Ramway, the young Scottish star with the hopes of a nation on his shoulders as he confidently glides around this ring here in Bolton, a clash between two stars that everybody's been talking about. Yeah, for sure, two of the most talked about kids in Muay Thai in the UK. And, well, Jordan Coe's put on a show before he's even fought, hasn't he? Watching Bukal, poor Pamuk right now. The shenanigans have finished, the joking's over, the smiles are from are now in history. These two very, very capable boxers battle here at Bolton. McGowan is tipped for the top, Co is tipped for the top. But who's going to be the best in the division? These are the new kids, and you've got to give credit to the organisers of this yep. show, bringing us some... I'm so look, excited. Look at the really guys are. standing up ringside on, on both these corners. Both these kids are in good hands for Listen, their future. They it's really sold are. out. The venue is sold out. Let me tell you, it is absolutely rammed to the rafters. And as the atmosphere steps up another notch, the Southport Cove from Falkirk in Scotland in the yellow shorts and in the blue and gold and white shorts, the youngster from Northampton, Daniel McGowan. Round one, right one. five, three minute round. very early in this fight. McGowan's too strong. McGowan's too strong already. I'm telling you now, McGowan's too strong already. He's seen that in the clinch. Jordan wants to play a game and smile. Well, it's McGowan's, McGowan's... Jordan, I'm sure, has not come up with no. that position as strong as him before. No, and, 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 McGa and McGowan, McGowan doesn't play. It's not a game to him. 54 kilograms, these guys are coming here today. Definitely looking more relaxed as the two fighters as they start. Right, first of all, here's a go look out, look how McGowan moves. Look how Jordan Co moves. He crosses his feet when he moves. A bad, bad mistake. See? He crosses his feet. McGowan, that's why he can hit him with the push kick so easily. He crosses his feet. Yeah, I can see that then yeah. Fundamental mistake that. Iron it out somewhere on the line with Stevie Meikle, an experienced corner. Good sharp kicks from him, though. A lot of fights in Thailand, Stephen Meikle has been around the clock. Certainly has, been in with Jordan Watson as well. Yep. He knows the game. An elbow just misses from McGowan. <laughs> Strength already, early doors. Look across McGowan's face. Just means business, doesn't he? Yeah, he's used to fighting tyres as well, Vinny. He'll be used to starting slow. I'd have, liked, I'd have uh, thought Jordan would have pushed the action fast on him, try and unsettle him. Strong, taking the inside Good. of the clinch straight away, Daniel McGowan. Nice turn from, from Jordan. 
but a good left knee from McGowan. Mesmerising, isn't it, the skills of these two here on, on Yorkow, and you know, an absolute sizzler. He looks out of sorts already, Co. You can't cross your feet like that, can you, Dan? You know yourself. Yeah, but, yeah. When you watch these two guys, you, you just realise you're going to be watching this sport for the next 10, 15 years. Yeah, at and least. these these kids yeah. are going to be on it. Trust. Yeah. These kids are going to be on it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good first round for both these fighters. Daniel McGowan, for me, looking the more composed, definitely showing the more experience out of the two fighters. Stephen Meekle now. You know, you've got to, you've got to, he's got to start doing, you know, kicking. I mean, Daniel McGowan just having a yep. look there, scoring with a good push kick, especially for the back leg. Also scoring with the knee, but it's the, it's the fundamental footwork of Coe. It's, it's not, it's glaringly obvious when you're a commentator, sometimes it's difficult to see it in the gym. With the wider stance, Daniel McGowan's quicker to launch his shots, you know, and uh, I know Stephen Meek will spot it in here. He'll, he'll send him out. Yeah, of course, but, you know, he, he doesn't stay with Stevie Meek all the time, you know, so, you know, Stevie's only had a short time with him. But then again, you know, Jordan's going to summer league camp. They'll still find that out in Thailand, you know, and it's still kids. They can still lose and, and come out with the, the head tail power. Sure, no matter what happens here tonight, both these kids got a massive future. The only thing that stands in these two boxers' way is that ties are very, very good at these weights. That's the only thing, really, truly. Daniel McGowan's made short work of a few of them who are well respected I'm, I'm as well I'm already. Seen, yeah, I yeah. know, and I, yeah, I've seen him as well perform. He con his concentration's really impressive for a guy of his age. Well, a guy of his age, he's young in English terms, isn't yeah, he? But, yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah but terms, he's, he's, he's not a dog. Aged, isn't he? He's not a dog. <laughs> he's only 18, but he's 93 as a dog. <laughs> but McGowan so far looks Carlos very, very Carlos impressive. As he waits in the middle of the ring for the Scottish Seven contender. Touch. In the yellow shorts, Jordan Coe. In the white shorts, Daniel McGowan. Right to. Super pet star. McGowan, good elbow and a kick inside the leg. Oh, yeah, for the low one there. I heard that bounce off the box as well. He's not made a big fuss of it, to be fair to the boy. Bouncing around the yeah. ring. Yeah, Jordan, he's Jordan very busy, isn't he, skipping around, but he needs to plant his feet and let some shots go, doesn't he? Backs up in a straight line, he's got to watch the high kick of McGowan. Good elbow sneak, and McGowan in there. Beautiful knee up the middle, good knee back from Go. This is an intelligent performance. These, these are very, very good yeah. kids. Oh, nice. Good shot by Co. Yeah, very good job. Training with Daniel O'Connor, also at the Thai style gym in Liverpool. Co. Daniel right Daniel elbow is going in. All the time, yeah. This is, this is a spike from McGowan. He's very spiteful. I think Jordan has to assume he's going to get into an elbow war here, Vinny. He's falling, he's, he's falling to bits, though, Co. At the minute. Yeah. He's just come up against the fighter who's up in class, I think. Good elbow there causes a the cut yeah. on the top it's of Jordan Coe's set. This is where the experience tells. Then you'll need some knee as well to set those elbows up. Cuts very high, Vinny, they can deal with that. It's not going in the eyes. The mask of blood across the face. Again, the right elbow from McGowan. Very fast, very fast elbows, Vinny. Well, this is absolute bloodbath now, isn't it? The complete performance from Daniel McGowan here. 
baby face of Co. I told you, this kid's a bit special, this McGowan. He is. He's going to work now, isn't he? He's cut into pieces, this kid. And he's not letting him off. No, he's not. smelled blood. He's on, isn't he? He's in real bad trouble. Got to give credit to Cole, though. He's yeah, a very good tough heart, boy. Good heart. He needs to throw big shots, though. You can't just stand there the and get rid of him. And they're, like they're a different level of kids yeah. now. They are. Yeah. They're a different level. And now it's Daniel McGowan doing the uh, showboating in the ring. I'll tell you something, I've been in this sport 29 years and I boringly tell everyone every week, but I'll tell you something, these kids are, are just ridiculously good, ridiculously talented kids. It just goes up this, and up you know what, honest, every generation. You've got to be honest, right? Be honest, right? We've liked to rumble in our time, you? you know what I mean? But these kids are frightening. They're amazing. They're frightening. I think it does help, though. Where as the next generation yeah, it does help. Good. not being in there with them. Oh. No, but the, the level of them, the skill level of them is just incredible, isn't it? I feel sorry for their babysitters, Vinny. Oh, so, oh, so far, an absolute masterclass performance by McGowan. Them elbows are ridiculously dangerous. Stephen Meekle going to work on that cut in that corner. Stevie Meekle is team tough. Jordan Coe is a tough kid, but I think the writing's on the wall here. It really is. McGowan, what they said about him is absolutely true. Yeah, right now here, Super Showdown, Yokao. Daniel McGowan is everything everyone said about him. And still, it seems like he's got another couple of gears in him as well. This could be the round that Daniel McGowan takes Jordan Cole to school. And he already is at the moment, isn't he? And I hope that a show of this magnitude really does give Daniel McGowan the exposure he deserves as well, because he looks frightening, doesn't he? The first time anyone's seen Bruce Springsteen, the first time anyone's seen Darren Brown, the first time anyone's seen Whitney Houston, and this is the first time that a lot of people on Yokow have seen a new superstar in the making, a kid that's coming through, Daniel McGowan, because this kid has really got something, hasn't he? Round three. How does it compare when you watch him, Benny, to some of the superstars you've seen birth, um, like the man headlining this show I, tonight? Well, I like seeing Liam Harrison when he was a kid, so, uh, you yeah. know, superb fighter. Any see Jordan. Any resemblances? Uh, the different fighters, but talent, they're both uh, incredible. I see, jo I see George overthrows him before anybody. Yeah. And, but I believe this Daniel McGowan could be the next big superstar. You just get a feeling that there's something extra special, don't yeah. you? Yeah, it, it, it is extra special. But Co oh, still he's in this. an absolute warrior yeah, in Co still as well, in isn't he? A little bit lazy there from uh, Daniel McGowan. He needs to concentrate. Jordan Coe representing himself very well now. There he is. He's going for it, isn't he? Well, he's he's going to the higher yeah. now as well. Stop the elbow. Good body kick. But look, tries an elbow of his own. An elbow back from McGowan. He's tough, Jordan Coe. I tell you what, he's really giving it his best. Fantastic. What a fight. The babies, imagine when the men, imagine how hard they're going to hit when they're adults. Oh my goodness. Strength, passion, determination. Look how the, it's, it's all the whole, the whole These shebang. He's got the lot. Exactly. Both of these boys destined for stardom. At the moment, Daniel McGowan is nicking the limelight, but I'm sure somewhere along the line that Jordan Coe will find his day. He looks a bit ragged now, doesn't he, Danny? Yeah, when it comes to the battle, we've got these guys 50-50. When it comes to the skill set, we've got Daniel McGowan ahead. On. Yeah. He's 
so comfortable, isn't he? He's a joy to watch. Yeah, he is. An absolute joy to watch. Some fighters are comfortable to watch fight. Just stalking down all the time, but he's something a bit good, this kid. Let's forget, listen, he's 18. He's done a fantastic job. No, is he 18 or 17? 17, something ridiculous. Yep, yep. yep. No, he's 18 today. Daniel McGowan's 18 today, yep. And uh, what a birthday Jordan present. Jordan Coe is uh, only one year younger. We've had some really good shows on Yorkow, but I tell you something, what we've got is new birth of stars. And I tell you something, he did well to do last time. What a round from Jordan Coe, showing heart and determination. What a testament to his character. Like I said, you know, we, 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 we've seen big names walk out, etc., etc. you know, but these are the new kids that we want. These are the new kids on the block, the Falang, as they say in Thailand. And these Nat Moy are absolutely incredible. I mean, Coe's losing the fight. Yeah. Let's be honest. But, but how proud must his corner be of him right now? How much, that age, listen, with that Scotland has someone to be proud of. Because really this boy's very good. Well, the UK has as well. We're proud of him as well. He was a really good fighter called Jordan Calder. He, uh, one of the pros here with Yakam. Son, who decided to retire at a very young age. And he's one kid I would like to see come back. A superb talent. But as our referee, Chris Podesta, wipes himself down. Once again, when you look around the rest of the spectrum of Europe, Vinny, which countries is churning out the best fighters? Thailand. <laughs> in Europe. No, no, in yeah. Europe. In Muay Thai? Hey, listen, We're I'm awesome. English in, through and through, yeah. my brother, and I'm telling you, these guys, although Jordan is UK from is Scotland, out. they are amazing producing fighters. some amazing When you look at France, fighters. the fighters, they're from Algeria, they're from Morocco, they're using France as base. Same as Italy, Trojan coming out, people using base. These guys, born and bred in the UK. They're extremely talented corner of both boxers, but a more confident, a more casual corner in the Super Pets gym. Ricky Sewell and... Liam Robinson masterminded a plan against Jordan Coe. And Daniel McGowan is absolutely executing it perfectly. A very good fight. Second time. Between a brave showing from Coe, but just a little bit the of fast. And McGowan, big round, round four. Termination from Jordan Coe here. Beautiful step knee. Sorry, inside knee from McGowan. Thank you, McGowan. A good accelerator elbow. over the last little while, Vinny. Oh. Very, this very is Muay Thai, isn't it? Yep, yep. This is Muay Thai. Yeah, I couldn't ask really any more of Jordan Coe in that corner. I really couldn't. This is really is Muay Thai. Daniel McGowan must be thinking, what have I got to hit this kid with? Look at the balance of McGowan, just stands on one leg, has a look with what's going on. And another fantastic matchup here. Superb, absolutely superb really showing. Is. Yep. Both guys given the platform to show everyone what they're capable of. Blood seeps into the eye of the Scotch star as a push kick. He's spitefully pushed into the chest as Jordan Cole looks for solace in his own corner. But he comes back with his own body kick as Daniel McGowan stands menacingly in front of the Scottish youngster. What a fight, Vinny. I hope Cole goes the distance because he deserves to. He really yeah. does. Yeah, so do I. Just thinking that myself, actually. He's tried his best, hasn't he? Everything. He's just Everything. being just picked apart. I'm McGowan. Moves around the ring well as well. I said there would be a birth of a star. I said something special would be happening tonight, and it's happening right now here in Bolton on Yorkshire. I think the experience of Daniel McGowan, the way he started this fight, was really good telling for him, you know. Yeah, he's, and uh, you know, he 
it's the elbows and the knees. And look at the movement there. Look quality. at Cole, though, just yep. come back with his own jumping left kick. It's the quality of the shots from Daniel McGowan. The accuracy. And there's a cut on the eye of McGowan yeah. as he takes a right hook from Jordan Cole. Wow. Amazing fight. Amazing, amazing kids, these two. Yeah, Vinny, I'm what loving a it. Fantastic in performance. Absolutely by these loving two it in kids. here. Almost lost for words. It's not our job to lose words, my friend, because we're coming up to the That's dying it. seconds of this round four. But I tell you, what a brilliant career that he's got in front of them. Really have. An oh absolute God. shiny example what of a Muay fight. Thai. Really is. Hats off to these two kids. That was a good, good round for Cole. One word. Although he did lose it. Proud. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, who wouldn't be? I mean, I'm proud to know them. I'm proud to be involved in this. And as ever, as he just joined us here on your prime for showman, and I'll tell you something, me and my friend Danny Kendrick, who I'm very privileged to be with, what a treat we've had. Amazing. You know, sometimes it doesn't live up to expectations. I've had a few women like that, but this one has lived up to expectations and it's gone above and beyond what anyone would ever expect of the show. Yeah, great testament to the matchups here. Courage, skills, fitness, these boys have got the lock. Certainly am. And as they come up to the fifth round, I hope. Cole goes the distance. Is a tiny cut. I say tiny cut. It's not my face. Is a cut over the eye of McGowan. Well, they'll get used to that. They'll sort it out. Yeah, both corners having to work hard on the cuts here. Oh, I, you know what? I, I, I wouldn't have lived with these kids. No way. I wouldn't have been out of it. I couldn't do what these two do. I really couldn't. Just I, absolutely. Safe. And the knowledge. The knowledge of these guys that go to Thailand and come back. What's the thing these trainers are doing yeah. with these kids' lives? And honestly, what making of their honestly lives. All these I really, really rate them. Robinson. Yep, yep. As a, as so and a lot of people may not like this, but I have to say, Liam Robinson is a Muay Thai genius. He really is. He really is. He's got maturity about him with him as well. He's uh, taking good care of his fighters. Corners 10 seconds. So as he comes up to Ladies round five, a very, very entertaining contest between two superb fighters. They said it'd be a birth of a superstar, and we're witnessing the birth of two right. very, very blessed boxers indeed. Skills, everything, the whole shebang, and the only babies. Everything to fight for for both fighters now. I tell you what, Frankie Unis has got kids coming through like these. It's ridiculous amount of skill. Sorry, I, sorry, I digress. Unbelievable. Good I'm score. In this seat for the Amazing. Next 50 years, I know, so do I. I'll never want to retire. Good block from McGowan as he stands in the middle of the ring. Again, Jordan comes forward trying to find an indentation in the Super Pet Star. The footwork of McGowan has been superb. Immense, Vinny. Immense. Jordan Coe also, when he's in trouble, very good at sidestepping and slipping off the rope. And he dealt with, and he dealt, a low shot, that he dealt was, with yeah. the cut really well. It doesn't make him fuss, Daniel McGowan. That was a hard low shot. He doubled up on the knee then as well. Yeah. Go. Good team there, front kick from McGowan. He knows he's got this in the bag. Just has to keep going where he wants him. As Cole starts to move around the ring, McGowan just cutting him off, scoring on the way in. If this was two tyres having a war like this, this would be all oh over the internet. God. This would be money flying everywhere, Vinny. This is an exciting fight. Superb performance by both boxers. Sometimes Muay Thai can be done, because they cancel each other out, but these two haven't. Superb. And as Cole moves around the ring, McGowan starts to score with the push kick. Handily ahead on points though, McGowan, I'd say. I think so, and the quality's been there. 
Look how fit they are, though, Danny. I mean, they're not even blowing, are they? I, well, you wouldn't expect them to at that age, to be fair, but, but they're on another level. They throw so many shots. Their work rate's immense. That was good from Cole. Cole's made a magnificent fight. He's a magnificent little kid. Yes. There's a, an elbow from McGowan. He looks tired, though, just Cole. maturity about McGowan, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's just a different sort of spike in the work, isn't it? Yeah. Stars are born. Stories will unfold here on Yoko. And as a new kid on the block, Daniel McGowan, remember the name. But also, don't forget, a young boy from Scotland, Jordan Coe, who's made this into a fight. And McGowan has had to do every trick in the book. Really, we should kidnap the judges and not let either of these kids have no. a decision because none of them deserve to lose. No, they don't. McGowan has well, listen, shown a listen, let me maturity, tell you, they're yeah. allowed to lose at this embryonic stage sure. because when they get to men, they are going to be feared around the world. A fantastic fight. You've got to be amazing to get on a show like this, so there's never going to be a loser in there, but that is a magnificent fight. He looks at me and shakes his head, Daniel Goan, in disappointment. He's done enough for Listen, me. He's done enough for me. Jordan Cole wasn't in there to lose. But it was a great performance, as I said. A star is born, and two very, very good boxers indeed. Babyface assassins, both of them. They just look like they put their, their ties back on Daniel, and straight back to school. I think Daniel McGowan blew a bit towards the end of that fight as well, Vinny. It was a very frenetic pace as well, wasn't it? There was no it was. feeling out process in the first couple of rounds like we do. See, sometimes... Look at the corners, Vinny. Look how proud both corners are Listen, of their fighters. Are you okay, fighters to the very proud. Proud. I'm very proud, proud of both from the UK, Vinny. I'm really proud am. of both teams. Superb performance by two very, very good kids indeed. Fighters to the centre of the ring. And after that bout, ladies and gentlemen, please, your appreciation for both fighters. A rapturous applause, and justifiably so, and for two very, very good fighters. Words. We now go to the judges' scorecards. And the judges have reached a unanimous decision in favour of your winner in the red corner. There you go. Daniel McGowan. What a good performance. And your appreciation Jordan for Cole. Jordan Decolet Magnificent Cole. Lionheart Jordan Coe. But uh, you know what? Hats off to him. You know what? I can't wait. I hope that I get to see every single fight of theirs, and I hope that Yokal grabs him straight away.